Laura here from the Early Years Alliance. Today in our Get Crafty session, I'm going to be doing some bubble painting. But before we do that, let's say hello to everybody. Are we ready? One, two, three. Hello, all the boys. Hello, all the girls. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you here. Super singing, everyone. Right. So to make a bubble painting, we need lots of different things. We need a bowl, a spoon, some paint, some washing up liquid and some water. And most of all, a straw. So because it's autumn time now and all the leaves are falling from the trees, I've chosen to do mine in some autumn colours. So I've already mixed up some orange and some gold. And we're just going to do some green. So in your bowl, you need to pour some paint. Tell you what, this is a brand new one and I've forgotten to take the label off. So we will come out. Labels. So we will pour some paint into the bottom of the bowl. So I have some lovely autumn colours. So in one of them I've already got this gold one. And another one is this lovely orange. So we've got orange, gold and green. So when you put your green paint in the bottom of your bowl, you need to put a little blob, just like that, of washing up liquid. So, oh, bubbles are coming out. Can you see? Pop, 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 Three, mix, mix, mix it up, mix it in the bowl. Stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. Now you've reached your goal. So your paint and your water and your liquid, very liquid has all mixed in together in the bowl. I'm just going to take my spoon now. Give these two a quick mix before we use them. Okay. And take the spoon out of those ones as well. A good mix. Right, so this is the important part now. We're going to use our straw. So if mummy and daddy can get you a reusable straw, so a metal, uh, plastic or silicone one, they're the best because the ones that are made of paper tend to go soggy at the bottom because we're using water, so they're not the best to use. So here I've got a lovely shiny silver one. So you need to listen, use your listening ears, switch them on for this bit. So when you put your straw into the bowl, we need to do a big blow like this. Rather than a suck, like we're having a drink. So when you suck, you will have a mouthful of paint and washing up liquid and water. Yeah, it won't taste very nice. So remember, a big blow. Oh, hear that noise? all the air going over the top of my straw. So I'm going to get my three bowls, one, two, and my green one which is here. And I'm going to pop my straw in and blow, ready? Blow. <gasps> Did you hear that funny noise it made when I was blowing the bubbles up? So now I'm going to dip my straw in here. See all the bubbles popping up. Oh! That gold one was a bit tricky, it didn't want to come out. So now I've got my piece of paper and I'm going to push it onto the bubbles very gently, like this. One, two, and when you lift it up, can you see, let me get a little bit closer, all of the beautiful colours it's made with the bubbles. You can see the gold, the green and the orange. Should we have another go? Give them another blow, because once you've blown them up, all the bubbles go down. Can you see they've disappeared? So we need to blow again. Right, we're ready, we're going to go orange this time. So I'm 
I'll use the orange one first. Uh oh. Whoosh. Oh, that's a good one. Then we're going to go green. Green ones are good. Can you see the big bubbles all in front of me? Oh, got two pieces of paper there. really nice this picture now the gold gold one doesn't want to blow up very well if it's made lots of big bubbles that's the last one on there maybe if i put a little bit more water in it might blow it's better bubbles let's have a little try are you ready Better. It just needed a little bit more water. Pop that one on the top, and there we have another bubble painting. So if you pop them somewhere nice, that can be able, nice and bright and light, that they can dry. So I'm just going to leave mine on the table here, so that they can dry. And then you can like, put them on your fridge or on the wall, or you can even use them as wrapping paper to wrap a nice gift up in. You can use them for all sorts of things. And if you have a brother or sister and you're going to do it with your brother or sister, you might need to excuse me, write your name on your, on your paper so you know which one is yours so you don't get them muddled up. So that is how you do bubble painting. So there's lots of all sorts of colours, lots of different colours of rainbows you can make lots of bubble painting with. And you could always have a shape of an animal or a vehicle on your paper and pop it on top and make it look like maybe a green car or a, a blue rocket. You could do all sorts of gold. Gold would be a good one to do a lion in. So that's how we do bubble painting. So I'd love to see your painting pictures. If you want to send them to any of your educators from your center, they would be brilliant to see all of the pictures that you've made. And they'd be lovely for me to see. So that's the end of our crafty session now. So shall we say goodbye? And I'm going to tidy up my mess because I've made lots of mess on the table. It's a bit gold and a bit green and a bit orange. So are we ready? One, two, three. Goodbye, all the girls. Goodbye, all the boys. Goodbye, everyone. I hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining me today. See you all soon. Goodbye.